Any reply from Professor Lawler other than the first one where he said there were no breaches of good clinical conduct? And as I said, I provided date stamps again to him of the documentation for the relevant patients where there were hidden deaths. So with his statement that none of the deaths in the Pfizer trial were due to the vaccine, I went back and reanalyzed the data. So for this trial, there were actually more deaths in the vaccinated arm, 21, compared to the placebo, 17. Actually more deaths in the vaccinated arm, 21, compared to the placebo, 17. Of the deaths in the vaccinated arm, only three of them had autopsies. But in the vaccinated arm, 10 of those deaths, 10 of the 21 deaths, were people who were sudden adult death found dead. They were people who died whilst they were in the laundry, people who had a cardiac arrest when they were walking, people who never woke up from their sleep, people who their neighbours called and said, there's a smell in this apartment next door. I think we need to, uh, you know, you need to go and check this. So people had, there was a sudden adult death signal, found death signal, in the vaccinated deaths. Of that 10 sudden adult deaths found dead, there were only two autopsies, only one results available. That's the sudden cardiac death. Of that 10 sudden adult death found dead, there were only two autopsies, only one results available. That's the sudden cardiac death. The other autopsy report was the gentleman who was found in the laundry by his mother that result is still not available. So in the first place, how do you say something can't be due to the vaccine if the autopsy result is pending? And for the other ten, uh, eight sudden adult deaths, there were no autopsies. You know, and I think it's really critical that people understand this. I can understand if there's a period of illness that's documented in hospital, there's no autopsy. But for people who die suddenly, people who were well enough to sign up for a cl clinical trial, and they die suddenly, and there's no autopsy, I, I have repeatedly asked the TGA for their evidentiary basis for the statement that none of the deaths were due to the vaccine. What was your reply? I haven't had a reply.